Hey, what's up YouTube? Me Tobias here. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, today I have some fish related stuff that was delivered to my house yesterday. These are the boxes right here. Can you guys guess what might be in those? Comment down below if you think you might know what might be in those boxes. I'm going to open those up in a little bit on camera, so I'll show you guys. Um, I just want to do a couple updates before we do that. First, I want to kind of give you guys a look at my terrariums. Uh, check out the Sailor Jerry's one right here. If you guys saw that video, um, what I did in the Sailor Jerry's bottle is I planted a succulent in the middle. Or it's called a geranium. I'm pretty sure it's a succulent. And then on the sides, I planted these chia seeds. And as you can see, guys, they grew in like really well. They grew in like super fast. Chia seeds are like super easy to grow. Yeah, so I kind of got them going on both sides of this uh, terrarium, which is pretty cool. And then right in the middle there, we got that geranium. And then check out this one, guys. It grew so fast. My, um, my first 40-ounce terrarium... If you guys remember, I trimmed two pieces of that off that succulent because it grew like all the way to the top. And I replanted them in my second 40 ounce terrarium. But as you can see, those succulents are in the back and they did not do so well after I replanted them. So everything else in there is doing fine. I have two succulents up front and then those little, I don't know what they're called, these little plants right there. But um, but yeah, guys, my my OG 40 ounce terrarium, like, that succulent like grew super fast. Or should I say it grew back super fast? I was kind of experimenting with the trimming of this succulent right here, which is the same as this one. Um, I plant, I trimmed this one, put that trimming in this cup, and I finally saw some growth. So I know that the plant's good now, so I'm probably going to do a terrarium video really soon using that succulent right there. Also, if any of you guys have a closed terrarium and you notice that there's mold starting to grow inside, I had some mold growing in this one, and all I did was open the top of the bottle, and that'll, you know, I, I just want to let some of the moisture evaporate, and hopefully that'll get rid of the mold. And right now, I just want to go ahead and show you guys a quick update on the pool pond, um, show you how the fish are doing and everything, and also do a quick feeding. Oh, we got Rico up here. Rico. Hey, Rico. Rico, Rico, pay attention to me. Oh, he's running away. All right, guys, let's go see how it's doing. Uh, I could hear the waterfall. I love that sound. Nice. Oh, look, we got one of the black moors right here. Oh, we got both of them right there. Check it out, the water level is pretty high because we had a lot of rain like two days ago. Yeah, two days ago we had a lot of rain, so like the water level is like a lot higher than it was, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> the koi right there. One of the koi became like way less shy. I think it's the, I think it's the orange, the one that's more orange. I think it's that one that became way less shy. He'll actually come up when I feed now. So let's see if he'll come up right now. I'm gonna throw some food in and see what happens. Alright guys, so that was super cool. We actually got like both of the koi to come up and eat. 
So that's cool. They're getting less shy around me. I also saw like a really tiny, tiny water bug. I don't know if it showed up on the GoPro, but I tried to like get some footage of it. But it looked like, at first I thought it was a really small fish. I thought maybe it was a baby minnow or something, but I looked a little closer. I'm pretty sure it was like a, a bug, like a water bug. So I don't, know, I don't know what kind it was or anything, but I never saw that before in the pond. I'm kind of guessing like the fish might eat it if they find it, they might eat it. I don't know. And I also checked the temperature of the water. It was around 55 degrees right now, which is like pretty cold. So like my hand is like freezing from touching that water. All right guys, so now let's go ahead and open up those packages that came. So I already know what's in these, or at least I'm pretty sure. For these, I know for sure what's in here. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. The only thing about this one is that it came super early. Like it wasn't supposed to come until like sometime, I don't know, like five days from now or something. So let's open the big one first. My hands are like still freezing from that pond water. Check it out guys. I got this Tetra Whisper 40i aquarium filter. And uh, yeah, this should be good. I believe it's good for anything from 20 to 40 gallons. It got here like super fast. I think I paid, if I remember correctly, I believe I paid around $13 for that, um, you know, on Amazon free shipping. If you guys are interested in checking this out, um, I'll link it down in the description below because it was only $13. So I thought that was like a pretty inexpensive um, aquarium filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out at least. And in a minute, I'll explain to you guys why I bought this. But for now, let's go ahead and open these two boxes. All right, guys, so what I have here is an aquarium heater. This is 500 watts. I ordered two of them, and I actually have one more that's on the way. But let me explain to you guys why I bought these. I actually bought three of these. Um, I have two right here. I have another one on the way, but let me um, open this one up and then I'll explain to you guys why I bought these. So there's both the heaters, guys. As you can tell, they're like pretty long. Like they're like two and a half times the size of my hand, like however that is, however big that is, maybe like 18 inches or so. Um, and the reason I bought these is because I want to put these these two into the pool pond. I want to put them in the pool pond because it is getting like to the winter right now. As I told you guys like a minute ago, it is 55 degrees in that pool pond right now. And um, I was just looking at these heaters right now. It looks like, um, like it, it seems like the fish are doing fine at 55 degrees. But one thing that I did read online is that once it gets under 55 degrees, um, the fish might lose their appetite. And here in California, in Los Angeles, where I live, like it doesn't get that cold to where the fish are gonna hibernate. So like my concern, I guess, is that it'll get cold enough for the fish to lose their appetite, but it won't get cold enough for them to hibernate. So then they might just not eat and then they might die from like starvation. That's like in my head, that's my concern. I don't know if that's like a realistic concern or not, but I'm kind of new to the fish thing. I've never had a pond before. I've never kept fish outside before. So I'd rather kind of like play it safe than sorry. And I kind of figured with two 500 watt um, um, aquarium heaters, maybe that'll be enough to get the pond up to like, you know, at least 55 degrees or so. Um, it looks like the lowest setting on here is um, 65 degrees. It goes from 65 degrees up to 93 degrees. But um, you know, it's so there's so much water in there in the pond that I'm even wondering like what the impact of these heaters will be in the pond. So I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I mainly wanna just try it out and see if it helps at all. Um, now the reason that I bought a third aquarium heater, I bought a third um, 500 watt heater, and the reason that I bought a, where is it, where is it? Oh, I put it on the floor. And the reason that I bought this um, aquarium filter is because I have another project planned. Let me show you real quick what I got. Sorry, it's like kind of messy down here. I'm gonna like clean this soon, uh, but check it out. I have this bin right here, this plastic bin. It is, let me get some light in here. Yeah, so I got this plastic bin from Target. It was around, um, 
I think I paid $10 for it. And it is about 22 gallons. The measurements listed were on quartz, but I did the conversion and it came out to like being like around 22 gallons. But it's 22 gallons and the reason I bought this is because I actually want to keep some fish inside and I want to be able to buy fish over the winter and keep them in here. So that's why I bought a third aquarium heater and that um, aquarium filter. Now the fish that I want to get for that is um, I want to get a pleco or pleco. I don't know. I think it's pleco, pleco. I don't know how you pronounce it. But I want to get some plecos and keep them in there. I think I'm, I'm going to get two of them. And I want to keep them in there for now. And then around March or so, you know, once we start getting closer to the springtime and it's not so cold outside, I want to put them in the pool pond. And then, like, they could eat a lot of the algae in there. And I think they would, like, grow really well in the pool pond. So that's what I want to do. But, of course, for plecos, it's going to be uh, way too cold in the winter to keep them outside. Um, even with these heaters, I think it might still be too cold outside. So I just figured I'd make a little setup in like in my room and keep them indoors. Now the reason I went with this plastic storage bin instead of an actual like aquarium, like a glass aquarium, is because this is kind of like a temporary thing. I don't know if I really want to get into like keeping an aquarium because that's like way more maintenance and it's kind of more of a temporary thing. Like I didn't really see the value in like buying a aquarium that I would only use for like, you know, a couple months and then I'm not even sure if I'm going to be using it after that. So um, yeah, so I went with this um, plastic storage bin and it was like a way cheaper option as well. And I almost forgot to tell you guys, um, I did a little research before I bought this because I wasn't sure if it was safe to keep fish in a plastic bin. Like if the plastic would make the um, water toxic or whatever. And what I found online is that if you look at the recycle number on the plastic, like let me show you guys the recycle number on this. So like usually if you flip over something flip something over there'll be like a number on it let me bring it out here so you guys can see there'll be a number on it and basically um i think it's number two plastic is like the best i think and then four and five are like the next best and i believe four and five are like food grade plastics so the plastic won't like leach like into the water or whatever and it should be safe for fish but yeah, if you guys look right here, there is a number right there, and it's number five. And supposedly, number five plastics are fine for fish, so. So yeah, guys, according to what I found online, this should be perfectly fine to keep fish in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of create, like, uh, an aquarium out of this bin in my room. So I'm super excited to get that aquarium set up. I think it'll be really cool. And I'm super stoked that now the, the koi are actually, like, less shy around me they'll actually come and eat when i put out food so that's like super cool as well all around guys a lot of cool stuff going on so guys if you're new here and you want to keep up to date with my pool pond videos and my future projects like this aquarium that i'm gonna start make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell button make sure you like this video that helps me out a lot and my name's tobias and if you've never seen any of my other videos before i really encourage you to go check out my channel check out some of my other videos i do as i said i'm doing these pool pond videos like a lot of fish videos um, I also do cover songs, vlogs, reviews. I do it all, guys. And once again, if you like what you see there, hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.